and well good evening yes it is it's evening it's not morning usually in the mornings isn't it that i do this um <clears throat> i'm actually here as bros boundy psychic medium and we're doing the friday night fun chat frolic whatever it is whatever it decides to be because i have been messing around with a few of the buttons again and i just realized that wasn't quite at the right level because I've been messing around with a few of the buttons and some of the lighting's a little bit interesting tonight. Um, I hope not, not too blue. Of course, there's updates successfully done, etc. Now, what I should be doing is streaming to my YouTube. So you can choose to watch me there. My Facebook profile, and this is where it gets interesting because facebook have done some of those updates as in um the pages new page experience or something like that they've been rolling it out and i know my pages have changed to that or some of them or one of them or whatever um <laughs> at least i'm hoping that you can watch me somewhere uh so that's the ros boundy profile the ros boundy page and I am on mytimetv.live and I am, am sending to Leanne Winston Psychic Mediums page. So I've got those five destinations sorted. So at some point you could be on any of those. So good evening, Kerry. Lovely to have you here. Um, bladder cancer. Well, that's an interesting one. Uh, yeah, I'm getting it. It'll be okay. So follow what advice that you're being given, of course, because not into medical advice as far as the, the certainty is more with what the expertise is that we have at the moment with our allopathic system. If you feel your body is telling you something different, certainly go and get second opinions if that's what you're needing to do. So that is what I'm feeling for that. Now, I'm not doing just the cards tonight, so I'm not doing that yet. Um, what you, But Kerry, what you choose to do will be, um, you know, be guided by your own inner trusting. And I, Keza, um, I, and what I need to actually clarify now is that Leanne may or may not be on. I haven't verified with her whether she can come in, whether she can make it tonight or not. I didn't sort of do that because I've been playing with buttons, as I mentioned, and I've been busy through the day to day and not really caught up with her. So we're just going with the flow and whatever happens tonight. It may or may not be cards. I don't know because I've just got some you know, fun stuff to do. You know me, I like pressing buttons. <laughs> so, and I have been trying to sort out this layout. So we'll see. And good evening to Bridget. Bridget's here as well. And Emily is here. Good evening to you. And we've got Nat. Good evening. Oh, sorry. Now, because I ate my tea pretty quick, I've, I'm going to get hiccups. Uh, probably burpees. Uh, it was a lovely pea top soup. <laughs> and hi, Diane. And we'll just have a play. Like I said, it's Friday fun. Whatever turns up. <laughs> and um, hi, Bridget. Oh, you were up there further, weren't you? Yes. Look, I probably will be starting from the top, maybe. I don't know. Hi, Steve. What, some, someone's sending a message. Is that the end? Let me just check on my phone. Let me check my phone first. Got to swipe to unlock. There's all these different things that we've got to do with our devices, isn't there? And I don't know why it doesn't recognise me. Oh, it's just sending me all of these notifications that my life has started or is going to start. So how's that? I still haven't figured out how to turn them off. Looks like I will have to because I'm sure you heard them all. So hi, Steve. <laughs> You had a very nice long high on there, didn't you? <laughs> and uh, Emily, you're very confused. Should you continue working in childcare if it's so, so exhausting or should I try that? What do you feel most? What's your strongest pull? Do you want to continue? Do Are you enjoying what you're doing with the childcare? Uh, if it's so exhausting and it's not what you think it is, maybe it is time to try something else. I mean, I'm getting a, a yes, but it ultimately is up to you. What is your gut feeling around that? Um, you know, it's no harm in trying something else if that's where you really feel that you, you're being led to. 
but make sure, you know, what, what is it that you're, you know, connect with guiding spirit for that one. I do think that we need to be aiming more and more for in, um, you know, in inner wisdom for actually practising yourself towards your inner wisdom and learning those tactics and techniques and how-tos and stuff. So, and Amy, hi, how are you? <laughs> Bridget, you're asking for any messages from your husband. Do you feel you, oh, that didn't show up. Why is that? Uh, I've lost, oh, that's weird. My button finger, I was doing it. Any message from your husband, Dar, please? Let's see. Not that's popping out. I mean, I think you are getting them already and you need to be trusting what you feel that he's he's communicating with you as well. Um, because I'm getting a yes uh, and a trusting. Let's see what it comes up with shortly. We'll, have, we'll just have a bit of a play. I don't want to sort of dive into the card straight away. And Kerry, <laughs> Kerry just saying thank you. Yeah. Um, sometimes I get them just straight away, other times not. And so, I don't know what that one was. I can't see where I've got a message there. I, can't, I might need to just throw this away. Um, got no idea what that was. But let me just put that over there so it's not rapping as much and making noise. So hi, Melinda <laughs> and Carolyn. You've shared and liked. Oh, that's lovely. Anything coming through for you? What a oh, blessing. Thank you for that. And all is well, actually, and especially for peanuts. So I'm very happy about that. Um, and Emily's just saying here, you do enjoy childcare. It's just so, so stressful. Your stoma makes it hard as children. And why the hell are they pushing on that for? Oh, I suppose it's just that they're bumping it all the time, are they? Um, I suppose in that respect, I can understand the the bumps and the rest, but if they're pushing on it, that's very rude of them. Um, maybe there's some education needed as far as what a stoma does and it can hurt when it poke, gets poked, etc. You know, it's it's all... Yeah, um, <laughs> having gone through that experience myself, not that I had children around me that I was getting it poked, but I could imagine it, it's not comfortable. So there you go. Um, yeah, look, go with your gut, like as in that gut feeling. Go with your gut, let the flow happen as to which direction you really want to take it. Are you interested in the bed work? So, And we've got Roy here. Oh, I like that. That's a very interesting avatar. I like that. Do you do radio work, Roy? It sound, looks like you do there. It's very interesting, Carolyn. Oh, I already put that up, didn't I? It would be appreciated if you don't actually repeat questions because I do get too lost in all of this sort of stuff, uh, like as far as the, the chats come up in the diff too often and I tend to flip past because I'm not sure if I've answered them already or not. So... Yeah, it's the right link. Um, can only see another person comment. It depends what page you're actually in. There could be only one other person in there, but I can see you. I can see the comments from whichever of those five destinations it's actually going to. So uh, I can see it. And uh, others who are asking for cards and readings and that. Good evening Kimberly is that the full moon wow I didn't actually remember to go out and get a look the other night last night I missed it uh, and it probably would have had oh cute um hi Jasmine good evening uh so what I'm going to do now is Roy are you questioning whether you're on the right stream or something not sure not sure about what and Heather, sorry, I've got a bit of, that's an interesting avatar. So hi, Heather, lovely to have you here as well. Um, and Carolyn, okay, did not, look, uh, if, if, some of you may have, may be on here as a first time as far as my show goes. Uh, sometimes I do them every week, like weekly. These are a weekly show that I host and most times, most times Leanne has been able to make it to share her time with me as well. 
but it's not just a yeah it's just whatever flows with tonight is what comes up so uh, I do get to some cards at some point but I've just got some stuff that I wanted to do a little differently tonight <laughs> And, oh, that's interesting. It was Kerry, you were the first one who was on and I mentioned about your surgery. Yep, 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 yep. So there you go. And um, what I'm going to do, just a little challenge. I just wanted to do something a bit different. And it's just a little challenge with using, uh, I have got these, these cards here ready to go, the transparent tarot. That's the ones I'm going to use. So for for those oh i didn't realize that was actually out of line there oh gosh all this stuff let me have a look that needs to go there whoop i've got the wrong one sorry i've got the wrong camera there in this scene <laughs> i just want to do it a little smaller and then it needs to be there See, there's lots of buttons I can press to actually shift things around in this. But what I wanted to do, show you, yes, it's going, I am going to use the transparent tarot and what I'll do is pull two cards up only. We'll see how it goes and this is how it will happen. But what I wanted to do for a fun thing tonight is this. And I forgot to put me up there. Right, with this one... <laughs> Oh, and it's supposed to be over this side. See, I didn't quite get all of the setup right. So with this one here, um, I want to just put a bit of a challenge. Oh, hang on. <laughs> <laughs> um, you can see that it says there, take a nap. And then there's these types of things. I'm not sure if you can actually hear the ta-da. Can you? No, you can't, bugger, bugger, bugger. And I think with this one, let me see. No, it doesn't bring in the sound. Now that's interesting. Let me have a look. Muted, don't mute. Mute that one. Hold on. Let me try that again. Can you hear the sound? Oh, yes, <laughs> we can. There we go. <laughs> So can you hear the sound on that and it comes through? <laughs> Under the hair salon. I like, I like that. That's cute. <laughs> I do like that. You'll have a nap. What I want to do is as I'm doing the card as well, I'm going to give you a challenge. <laughs> and for those that do it, you can have the card reading tonight, yes, but I'll do a curiosity tea card reading for those who know what that one is, for those who don't, you might get a surprise. So what you're needing to do is the challenge as well to get that extra after having your reading. So what I'm going to do is start with, uh, I've got to go back to this one. Is it this one? No, this one. Hold on, I've just got to get the right, right place. Okay, so I've got this book here because I need the book for this one. And for Kerry, how I've done it is these will be just the first two cards will be placed there. As they come out like that on the white mat, this will be your reading. So you've got the three. And for those of you who've taken part and watched me do this one before, um, it does look interesting, doesn't it, Kim? <laughs> teacup readings so what you need to do and Kay says the teacup readings are great and they are oh hello Victoria I see you're over on YouTube that's wonderful share it with your friends <laughs> if, if you know they like watching by YouTube and there is is the chat if that chat is obviously working on the YouTube the live chat and you can see it does come up like everyone else's okay so what we're doing we're starting off with Kerry's now, I don't know if you've got one of your, there you go, Kerry's. I'll just put that there so that it's not all of that text there showing up for you. I just want your name there. Now, this one here is the three of, oh, hang on, I want the pencil. So it's the three that is, because it's up on this line or this line, it's the grand, 
you know, how tarot's got the two, the major arcana and the minor arcana. Okay, major arcanas are in these and the minor arcanas are here because that's the suits. So what we've got is the three from the major arcana and we've got the five of cups. So with that, I'll read the three. I'm only taking the keywords out the back. I haven't written them up yet. So you'll hear some pages turn and see the shadows. <laughs> that's just how it's going to be. So the three major arcana is the empress. So it's creativity, nurturing, patience, fertility, that type of thing, right? So nurturing and patience. What we've got, you can almost see a visual of a feminine energy laying in that mountain and it almost looks like, um, you know, the breasts and that type of nurturing factor so it is inbuilt into the card and what we've got with the five of cups i think it's five yep yeah. so there should be one two three four five there is five five cups sitting there and what we have with the energy of the five cups is depression grief cycle of loss dwelling on past self-pity obsession with failure so when you're combining that, it's actually sending that message to nurture yourself through any of those low times. Really sit with that feminine energy. And as you can see this layered over, what you're seeing almost is the breath of that beautiful feminine, that woman figure, that presence of really taking in whether it's breathing out or taking it in for that nurturing carry so in those instances where you are actually feeling that um, it's getting too much with trying to find out what is the best solution for your health trust rest and you know if you're really feeling that you do need in that you know in that inner self that you you're needing to actually follow on with a second opinion or otherwise as i said to start with you do that now what i'm going to spin for you kerry is and sing a song so the rules that the, the condition of having a reading is to actually put in under your message today under one of them a poem that you create so that I can see that you've met your challenge and then I'll do a curiosity tea card spread reading <laughs> it's a lot of words isn't it but that's what I've chosen to work with today <laughs> I have no idea why I did that, but it's what I've chosen to do. So these two are now going aside. I'm not going to use those two cards again. They're done. So the next person who is going, and I'm just going to work down them because it is easier to know if I've done them or not, okay? So, and Keza, you're here next. I'm not sure. I think I've got a message here. Oh, this is just so annoying when I get the interruptions, but I will just have a quick look in case it's just Leanne sending a message to say, no, she can't. Uh, no. Oh, that's one of those junk ones. Nope. So I won't be doing anything with that one. So here we go for Keza. Two cards. Right. 16 major arcana and the i've got to get closer to read it eight so it's 16 and the eight i'll go to my trusty i need a bookmark in this one i think <laughs> or write them up on a single sheet and laminate it i think so the tower that's what the zigzag lightning is striking the tower i dare say that's about breakdown cleansing searing truth necessary loss and destruction uh, in my original rider weight, it's the tower that collapses. So with this one, it it is that cleansing and, and really clearing things away. And with the eight, that's actually justice. So it's finding balance and the legal proceedings, fairness, 
karma, that type of thing. So it almost seems like there's going to be a clearing and cleansing in the way of something that's coming up for you, Keza, that's legal. Look at how that is really striking on the, um, it almost looks like a sword going through with this and it's going to find it's, it, it almost feels electrifying that what you're going to, to experience in, uh, and I don't know what the timeline would be for these, I really anticipate that any of these card readings are going to be sort of for the next week. So in that influence, so that there's going to be a bit of a rockiness happening that feels like it's like the lightning bolt coming through, but it's bringing to the point, showing up something really defined for you and clear away any uncertainty at all. So that's what I'm feeling. And it could be to do with some legal papers or justice, you know, something to do with the justice system because that's what the card itself is labelled as, is justice. Um, but um, feel into that what you think in your life situation, what's happening around you, something really is going to be brought to you in a way of a like the blasting lightning strike of clarity it's going to clear the air definitely and bring that zap into that sometime this through this week so here's your challenge if you would like to have that pet a pet and that means you need to take a photo of you patting a pet okay so that it's under your comment this one here and um, in whichever channel you're watching from so now <clears throat> excuse me now Bridget I know that you've got a question there somewhere any message from your husband that's right so let's take this as your message from your husband through these cards that's the sequence that is chosen what we've got is the four pentacles and the 12 major arcana. So the four pentacles is about stability, hoarding, material stagnation, greed, possessiveness, lack of trust. So there you go. Um, we'll see what it feels like when it's combined. I'm thinking, uh, are you actually feeling like you haven't got stability with your money? Let's see what the 12 major arcana is going to be saying. The hangman alternative perspective. So sacrifice, process, shamanism. Let's combine them. Uh, I think you're needing to be looking at your finances in a more alternative way is what I'm suggesting just from the two cards in their individuality. Let's see what it brings us when they're actually layered and combined. What I'm feeling straight away is that that's almost your turning. It, it feels to me like you're turning your back on what is, like your perspective is, as if you are turning your back on something that's going to be quite a benefit to you. So I think you probably are needing to actually turn around and see the possibilities of what can be opportunity coming forward for you. Even though it's a hanged man, it feels like it's that fruit hanging from a tree, something that's going to be an opportunity that you need to turn around and grab. So step into that and trust where it's cut, where it's leading into. So I think that's what Dale is suggesting for you. Turn around and look at it differently and take the opportunity, okay? And what we're doing for your challenge, if you're up for it, Cook a dish and take a photo of the finished dish if you're a cook or not. Because <laughs> I'm not. That's why for me that would be a challenge. Okay. <laughs> so here we go for the next one is Emily. I don't think I've done yours yet. No, I'm still on still on it. Here we go. Whoops, there we go. There's two cards. Just got to feel the yeah. Slippery side on the back is the back side of it. So what we've got is so a one in the major arcana and eight pentacles. The one is the magician. So you look at that, look at all of that. It almost reminds of the medical caduceus, caduceus. You know, the, the snake is going up that pole in the med medical um, symbol. 
I love that. It's dragons. Wow. Definitely a magician. Um, anyway, what that means is intelligence, resourcefulness, communication, manifestation. So you're going to be able to manifest whatever you want through the coming week because what you've also got is the Eight of Pentacles, which is advancement, graduation, mastership, achievement, so promotion, pride. So it's really bringing in that um, being able to create your magic with what is your abundance and bringing that in and advancement, which is one of the key words that the book itself suggests. And have a look at how that actually, there's the balance as well. Like you've got that sitting right in the center. So I think really what your focus is going to be is on your abundance, your finances, the more material possessions and sorting that out and really creating for yourself. Know what you're wanting and put that intention in straight up. Okay, so do that, and here we go for your challenge. Oh, there's another poem. <laughs> okay, so put that in under your comment if you'd like to have that challenge um, honoured. <laughs> and we've got Nat there. I'm just going to whiz down to see if there's any important things that are being. <laughs> being put at the bottom yet no not yet oh look, some lovely comments oh there you go fun and games Kay. it is well i like creating the ideas for it it's whether it gets into the actual process of being made into a decent action <laughs> who was i on was it emily why did that go away when i changed when i swiveled up that's interesting uh-oh, I might need to have someone tell me. Was it Emily's that I was on? I suppose I could count the cards by pairs and see if it was or not. I'm not doing that. Here's the two, one, two. So there's four wands. Four wands and the king of pentacles with this one. Now the wands is about engagement, celebration, new home, optimism. So established success and blossoming and with the king of pentacles because they are around the earthy things, the pentacles, um, it is, it's about abundance and the money and that type of thing. So the king of pentacles, oh, where are they? King, 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 pentacles, dependable, wealthy, generous, grounded. So there we have some very good established and grounded um, yeah, it's success, success, success. So what are you t attempting to do at the moment, Emily? Because it's going to be successful is what I'm getting there. What it almost looks like there too with that is that it's almost like it's an inner celebration rather than, um, you know, you're able to do that in that highly mental in, uh, level. You know, it's all, it seems to be all more around putting the head to it. I think probably. Um, what I'm feeling is just that sense of bringing it into the heart space but it is you're feeling that uh, a lot of it just feels like it's going round and round your head as far as yes you're doing really well and all that but it's not others seeing that so I think it probably needs to be something that you are actually going to communicate that what the things that you are doing so that it can be celebrated by those who who love you and are close to you and have helped you along and saying the thank yous to those who have helped you be successful in the way that you have got that security and, and the money really, the you know, the abundance really flowing because that is what the king is about. It's dependability and wealth and that sort of thing. So hopefully that's answering in the way that you want it to, um, you know, what you're feeling around the moment at, at the moment. Did I do one of the... Spinners for you. Now, see, this is where it's so nice to supporting because she actually keeps me on track. Sing a song. <laughs> that might need a little quick, you know, 30 second video. You know, one of those things that you do on whether it, like TikTok, you do it on a Facebook live or something, or just a little, or take a photo of you singing. I don't know. I just need the evidence. I need the evidence if you're up for the challenge. Okie dokie. Cool. 
Now we'll go to Nat. I'm hoping, does it still hold if I go right down to the bottom? Ah, you want to fall pregnant. Well, that's abundance and stuff too, isn't it, Emily? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Uh-oh, who did I, who was I up to before? <laughs> it was Nat, wasn't it? Because that's way back when I started the show. I'm doing them just in order of people putting them there without <laughs> looking. Uh, that's right. Emily, you were wanting to do the, the childcare and stuff, isn't it? You should try the vet. Ah, stoma and all that stuff. There you go. See, that answered some of that too. Always does. Here we go, Nat. Oh, we've got a reverse on this one. So we've got the Knight of Cups. Knight of Cups and the Two of Cups. So to me that feels a bit like it's on the emotional level. Let's have a looky see that. Knight Cups. That's the one that's up uh, in reverse. Untrustworthy self-indulgent. So there's someone around you that is untrustworthy and self-indulgent that is actually creating, oh, it's to do with love, romance, soulmates, connection and romantic partnership. Oh, so it would almost feel like what you're having is an un, is an occurrence of, um, you know, shake it up a bit because there, there feels like there is a little bit of mistrust there of someone close to you or that you are being mistrustful of them or they um, are being, mis, um, what do you call it, mistrust, untrustworthy because that's what it said, wasn't it? Untrustworthy, was it? Night. <laughs> untrustworthy, yeah, untrustworthy, self-indulgent. Is it you or is it them? I mean, sometimes we can be with ourselves without even realising it. So what does it look like? Oh, goodness, it almost looks like chop his head off. It almost looks like there's uh, a, I'd say a cease and desist. It, it's ceasing of. That's what it feels like to me as a furtherance in that reading, maybe there is a relationship or, uh, and it doesn't have to be your partner or anything. It could be just someone that you know that you're really wanting to stop, uh, you know, finish finish the relationship. That's what I'm getting there. So see what you think. <sighs> see, uh, <laughs> yeah, see what you think. Diane, here we go. Oh, hang on. Whoopsie. Nat, if you want the challenge, hang on. Here we, oh, look. I went and did it without, hold on, hold on, hold on. Ne nearly did it without showing it. Oh, this one's draw a cat. So you need to, to do a photo of a cat that you draw. It doesn't have to be good. It can be a stick figure with circles. I don't mind. I just want, I just find it, a, it's a fun way as a challenge. If you'd like to have these extensions of a reading, have an extra one. And Diane, here's your two cards. We have the, I think that's a queen. These are actually hard to read in this light against the white. So it's the queen of swords with the ace of pentacles. So the queen of swords is reversed. So I'm just going to give you the keywords. You may be able to extend that for yourself, connect with your psychic senses, queen, swords, Always the queen swords. Oh, cruel, cutting, ruthless, lonely. So that's what she's meaning. And the ace of pentacles is prosperity, profit, new career opportunities, money, new home, health, any of those types of keywords. It certainly is the start of a new journey into your prosperity is what I would sense from that. But it almost feels like someone's trying to cut you down from achieving that in the way that that is the reverse. Or are you not really wanting to take that step yourself? You to, um, hang on. Here we go. Let me see. If, ah, that's the tricky part in having them in the right way. Now, what am I sensing from that? Because it's it's like that, it's almost like it's two separate parts, the head and the rest of the body. So I think there's probably that feeling of 
uh, too much thought that's not being, you know, it's feeling disconnected. So that you're actually in the ways that you are, and and I'm feeling this one's actually more around how you're earning your money, earning your living, like how you are working through life in what work you do. That it's it is at the moment feeling disconnected, and why um, there's probably that bit of a halt in what is that uh, advancement because you've got the queen in reverse. And that in itself is stopping you a bit. So I think what you're needing to do is bring forward the energy of uh, that disconnection and positively, consciously thinking into that how you can feel that connection again as a whole body and shift that head thinking from the heart up to connect again and actually go with what is the new opportunity you're needing to follow and change up so that you are actually bringing that prosperity into its fullness of, you know, what you're needing to be doing, what you're going to, to grow with. That's what I'm feeling from that one. Okay, so, whoops, hang on, let me go to this one. Let's do this again. <laughs> Your challenge. Oh, cook it. Oh, nearly you got you nearly got to draw a cat. So cook a dish and take a photo of it. it. Can be breakfast. I don't mind. So that's for you. Now, Bridget, I think I did do a card for you. Steve, your turn. Let's go to you. There's the next one. And if we happen to miss out on others because you're later in the show, it's why it is best to be in the list first you know as soon as you can make it around that 7 30 be on here because it is the early ones that pretty much guaranteed with my way of starting at the top and working down um, get a reading so what you've got steve is the 10 10 pentacles and it's the king of wands reverse so 10 pentacles is abundance family ancestral strength wealth inheritance and kingdom so it really is that king of the castle fit you know it's your castle is your home king space abundance family all of that so that's a very strong card with the king of wands reversed though what we've got there is tyrannical <laughs> temper and violent. But what I would suggest there is, you know, it, it's leave the arrogance alone. That's what that's suggesting is that, you know, being the commanding king type thing, uh, sometimes the energy, what I'm feeling is sometimes the energies can be very strong where you might have a very, um, you know, stand your ground stance that can be seen or does it express itself as anger and temper. Let's see what it does when we combine this. So I think the message is that you're probably needing to, um, you know, to because it's turned upside down, what I'm feeling is let that flow out and because it's Mother Earth direction, it's Middle Earth or whatever you like to actually imagine it as, to let anything that is that temper and, and the negatives to flow out, let it go so that what you're doing is um, taking your stand in your power as who you are, yes, but with that consideration of others around and about you too, which I'm sure that you do, but it's obviously whether it's you or someone close around you who is behaving this way where they are expressing the anger and temper and being able to let it go, not affect you or ask them to calm down. You know, in a way that's actually conducive to, um, you know, from a loving heart is what I'm feeling there. Yeah. Okay. So hopefully that's meaningful for you too, Steve. And we'll go to your challenge. I don't know how you're going to prove that you do that. That's the one thing I didn't think of when I was <laughs> creating some of these labels challenges you might need to get someone else to take a photo of you taking a nap <laughs> i don't know 
Okay, um, now we'll go back to there. Uh, Emily, we've done yours, haven't, haven't we? Yes. And Amy, we've got the next two cards are yours. I love this one because it's, it looks so much like the Phoenix Rising. That's going to be interesting paired. So this is the 20 Major Arcana, and I think it's the Nine of Swords, this one. So the 20 Arcana, I think it's the world. No, it's judgment. So the this one, and that's this one, this one is judgment. So it's evolution, graduation, ascendance, rebirth, revelation. So it's a wisdom card because judgment can't be made without having the knowledge and the wisdom around what you're being uh, what you are judging, what you are clarifying, what you're actually sussing out, basically. So it's a, it's a lovely and it's a rebirth. I like the rebirth. So you might be going through an experience of um, self-expression that feels like a rebirth. And, and why is self self-expression? It does feel like a, a rising from um, the ashes almost, but it, it it's discernment. I think as well. So with the nine swords, that one is, I've got to try and find the swords card, and that is fears, nightmares, paranoia, mental illness, anxiety, self-loathing and dread. Wow, that's a lot in that. Um, and I think that's probably why there is that need to rise up from that and not be as harsh in your self-judgment um, do this gently. Let's just see what it's going to look like in that pairing. Do you know that almost looks like it's a shift from what is, um, you know, the muscle, you know, doing it like that. That's what that looks like. And it's almost shifting into, if you can see how it's flowing into this phoenix, that to me looks like it's the butterfly chrysalis it, just as it hatches and here we've got that transformation into that beautiful being in this case it can be a peacock it can be uh, the phoenix it can be the butterfly in whatever way you're needing to shift that energy and transform have that work through and you probably do need to do some work around that as well to shift that energy so and move it from what is the um you know what's that like that that's the nine swords wasn't it um from from what you feel is something that at the inner sense is giving you that you know you don't love yourself you're not worthy and stuff like that shift it and change it so that you really are blossoming and and renewing and rebirthing so that you can know that you are unique you are lovable you you deserve everything that's coming forward in the sense of the positives the new rising and take it take it out away from yourself in that you know it's really shining it out that's what i'm thinking because a butterfly can't stay you know it that it's changed it's from that chrysalis into that next entity of its life that next stage Do this one is woman, sing a song. <laughs> sing a song. I'm looking forward to seeing who actually does do these challenges. It'd be lovely to see some. <laughs> and we've done yours, Bridget and Kerry and Melinda. I don't think I've shown yours before, have I? No. So here you go. I'll do your two cards of these ones. One, two, oh, another wand. But it's the Ace of Wands and the Zero is the Zero of the Major Arcana. So I do know that that's the full card. And the Ace of Wands is, let's have a look, and that is Impotency, Procrastination and Lethargy. So it's a lack of energy, I think, in this respect. Things just aren't sparking. It feels like it's going out. And the fool is, uh, because it's in reverse, it's foolishness, risk and error. So I would sense that what it's the, 
what I'm feeling with the wand being in that reverse, it feels like there's, you know how you can light an incense and you light the match and it just won't light because you're holding it up and not giving it that depth to be able to burn it when you tilt it the other way and the flame can follow up the stick because as you can see this in this facing it's it's making it too hard to actually burn when if you actually have it the other way with the flame going up which is in its fullness like that you can see that flame is going to allow that to wick up and burn fully as it is meant to when you're trying to light something and have it fire off even though this in some respects can be like that sparkly you just look at it differently and then the you know it will work out as your perception changes that energy around it and um, with the fall of course with that one it's the risk and error there's something that is obviously risky that you've been attempting to do or it's risky to light something without its due thought process and planning and things like that what i'm saying here it really it, this almost looks like it's the butterfly wings as well just starting to shoot off <laughs> i don't know of like a fight would there be a fire breathing dragon type butterfly thing i don't know it's the creativity what i'm sensing with this is be creative in how you're actually looking at there's something that you're looking at that really does seem like it's so risky you don't want to give it a try but I think what it needs is to really let go, get out of that that is, um, you know, other people's opinions type of thing. Trust what you're feeling in that uh, connection with your spiritual guides, what you are needing to be doing. And if it needs that wand, which this is, it's a wand, um, what if it needs that to be lit to actually shine the way as well, remember lighting lighting uh, sticks and matches and stuff creates light to show the way as well. So it's almost like you're having to put your whole effort into holding that aloft to shine the way and it's going to open the different perspectives that you're needing to put to whatever it is that's that uppermost top of mind factor you know what that is okay oh and i'll just leave that there while i go to the where's my mouse there it is <laughs> i'm fiddling with too many things there we go so for your challenge if you'd like to put your throw the towel in for your curiosity tea card spread reading <laughs> thing photograph a flower and put that in there that's a good easy one to do <laughs> so if you do that you can have a curiosity tea card reading okay and caroline we're up to yours whoops there we go so anything coming through let's see what's for you here we've got the sun and here we've got so that's 19 in the major arcana and we've got the cuts and that is four cups. Both of those are in the upright. So what we've got in the sun is success, joy, science, truth, simplicity, abundance, confidence. And the four of cups is ooh, stagnation, dissatisfaction, boredom, ennui. I think that's how you pronounce it, is it? Ennui? Anyway, self-pity, loss of passion. Now, what do I feel that this one is? It almost does look like it's turning away deliberately from what could be interesting, what could be warming. But the sun really is. It's the light that warms. It's the light that's got that wonderful strong energy about it because it is so bright and it really shines up a day. And this looks like it, you know, as far as the, the uh, face that's drawn on it, it looks very nice. It's actually almost oriental. And if I hold it up like that, you're not going to see the detail, are you? Because it's, again, oh, there we go. You can see some of it. Have a look at that. Beautifully decorative. So we're going to layer them for you, Carolyn. And there we have it. I think the message there is to, you know, it's almost like, 
what do you think? It's almost like um, not facing the sun. I think it's probably protecting the the self in some ways that, you know, um, the brightness is too bright and that may be why there is that sense and need to turn the back. But it could be that there is that personality around you that is so hot so dominant that you're needing to actually do that um you know to to do that just turn away it's it doesn't feel like it's totally ignoring but it's those moments where you need to not take notice don't have that affect you so if that's happening in and around you that there's someone who's really in that dominant role that you're needing to turn your back do that and know that it's okay that you can do that and drink from your cup um, I'm just feeling that that's taking what you need from your cup and your inner self get that guidance from your inner self your spirit connection as well I think it's it's probably feeling that that is like an armadillo hardback shell well that's the image I'm getting anyway that that's got the armor on it so take note of that and use that as your uh, moment when you need to and know that it, it is okay to do that whoops now your challenge for it's just a limerick type thing to put in the comments it'd be wonderful too i like reading these though i do like limericks used to make them up a lot as a kid and cat chair i don't think i've done your one for you yet either so here we go we are coming up close to the end so uh if there's any outstanding oh hang on so it'd be lovely for those who are still hanging on and waiting to, um, uh, I have got some links there for some reasonably priced offers afterwards as well. So it's not that I'm trying to abandon you, but there is only limited time, isn't there, in a day and show. <laughs> I don't like going much more than the hour because too many people uh, well, I don't know. I've never tried it for more than an hour, really. Probably slipped into an hour and a half. Anyway, what we've got here is the six. Actually, hang on. That's not. Is me thinking it's the six? It's not. It's the nine major arcana reversed. And this is the ace of swords reversed. So let's have a look at what they are in their keywords. So the nine of the A major arcana, that is actually the hermit. So the reversal is loneliness, boredom, mundanity, mundane. So things are a bit boring with that card there. And with the ace of swords reversed, what we have is muddied thinking, lies, truth concealed or blocked. So things aren't quite clear for what you're working through at the moment you are feeling that bit um, there does seem to be that loneliness and um, the energies around that I did I did say nine didn't I? I'm just double checking that I've got the right one yeah I have boredom 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 can sometimes be a choice too that if, if what you're going through at the moment is just because of boredom and, you know, you, there can be a choice to change that around. And also if there's those around you who are telling you lies, I'm actually I'm trying to feel into what the message is for you with this one. Let's combine them and just see what it feels like with the two. What I'm actually feeling, because that is the hermit, it, it really, it does feel like that there's going to be that piercing of loneliness so that it's only going to be short-lived and what you, what you are needing to do is to almost pop that bubble of being the hermit 
and feeling like the hermit that you're wanting to, that you're needing to um, get out and start to, well, start to get out, be out and about so that you are actually solving that problem of a loneliness boredom thingy and bringing into light um you know that the interaction with others is going to be in itself something that helps with boredom loneliness and that sort of stuff but it's also that can be really stimulating in getting getting your thinking going and being able to join in good conversation and that type of thing um so you're going to be able to pierce that that is the boredom but you you do need to out and about with it or express it in some way as well. Uh, it might not be getting out and about with people, people, but it could be um, writing your expression of, of what you're feeling and stuff like that. And it then moves it into getting past that loneliness because you can. <laughs> Here we go. What's it going to tell you? <laughs> Cook a dish. Maybe cooking could be part of that release from the boredom as well. Anyway, just a photo of a cooked dish that you've made would be lovely. Would be lovely. Now we can go to Emily. I did yours, didn't I? Yes, I did. And Roy. Now I know he had some queries. I am Roy Manson, that Ratan boy in India. Ratan Roy in India. So I I don't know whether he wanted a card or not, or if he's still around. Are you still around, Roy? Um, I'm going to do them as readings anyway because the energy itself of what is read and spoken and seen, it will it transmits anyway because we're not limited by what is the physical. We have the ethers that carry our vibrations, okay? Um, the fields of energies are not limited by anything. So here we've got the... Uh, eight of swords and the three of cups so the eight of swords is reversed and that's suggesting um, progress can be made the path is easier than it's thought than is thought so that's the reversed from this book in the keywords um, so I'll probably read it differently from others it's been a long time since I've done the regular tarot it's also excited to get this deck three of cups in that upright position is meaning enjoyment good company party jubilance friendship celebration as you can see so for you roy as far as what is that reversal on the swords um i've just got to look at it again <laughs> the progress it certainly is that you can celebrate there's going to be some partying and there's going to be some celebration because um that that pathway what you're progressing toward is successful you're going to be having the party you're going to be celebrating so keep onward with that on that path because it's gonna it is going to actually be easier than you first thought so let go of the doubt and actually move forward with it so that's what that's suggesting and for you your challenge if you're still here or want to go and watch the replay draw a cat, draw a cat. There you go. So have a cat. Draw the cat. Take the photo. Put it on. Put it under your comment here in this page where you commented there. Okay. Now, um, I think I did one for you, didn't I, Carolyn? Yes. I'm just going to try and see. Yeah, I did. Uh, Joanne, I don't think I've done a card for you. So just quickly whizzing back. And I know there's lots of people <laughs> commenting under there. Oh, Kez, you've just had a call into work. Oh, there you go. Um, and Juanita, you're having to go too, was it? Finally left you. Oh, yeah, well done to you too. Um, yes, there you go. So for you, Joanne, here we've got the two cards that are for you. And that is the five of pentacles and the ten of wands. That ten of wands looks like a heavy load. Let's see what it actually means. So the five of pentacles is temporary loss, poverty. So material anxiety, instability, winter, poor health. Uh, certainly a bit of a message to watch that. It doesn't look good. 
we'll have to see what it looks like when it's combined. And the ten of I've said it's the ten, yeah. The ten of wands is about labour, stress, overwork, back pain, exhaustion, responsibility. Oh my goodness, it looks like things are actually being a bit difficult for you at the moment and you're having some stress around the money and finances and well your um, um you know the physical sense of anything that's that's in that line there's some difficulty there so do be wary watch out for it have some care and and uh, caution around that and these being the way that even in the overlay that it's uh, layered being two separate, no linking together there, really does feel like it's going to continue to be in that stress mode with the wands. Oh, I read the sword, sorry. Um, the wands, 10, labour stress. Oh, no, I did read the right one. Overworked. Um, try, I, I think what you've been given as the message here is to be more careful to be aware to have that conscious decision to rest more um, not overdo it just because finances may be stressed rest and let it go just allow things to flow with a bit more ease and not put yourself in a position where your health is suffering that's what I'm getting from that you really do need to let it go and rest a bit okay and we'll do this No, you're not. Now, going for a walk actually does um, create some of those lovely little endorphins that really get your body into a bit more healthy mode too. So that might be what you're needing to do is actually create some gentle exercise, not the overwork. Okay, Joanne. Now, um, now Melinda, we did yours. I'm pretty sure I did do one for you, didn't I? Yes, I did. Uh, done Roy's so Nat done one for you Kimberly don't think I've done one for you yet and I might make this the last one of this method of doing them <laughs> and what I'll do <laughs> is for anyone else who's left I'm just going to go through each note look I'll do Nat, uh, Kimberly's cards first here we go because this is just giving some fun stuff, really, isn't it? It's doing some fun stuff on a Friday night. This is the Knight of Swords, Knight of Swords and the Seven Cups reversed. So the Knight of Swords is intelligent, witty, inspirational, and brings ideas. Okay, so it's got some ideas. The seven of cups reversed is lack of options, loss of hope and lack of imagination and despair. Now, the fact of that the knife night does bring in ideas, I think it's some of these ideas that as you... Oh, have I frozen? Have I frozen? <laughs> um, I did. I, I did on my own screen. As the night's there, bringing in ideas and the rest, I'm feeling that you yourself are hammering them and saying, nah, not good enough, no, 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 and bringing in that sense of despair with the cups. I'm feeling that uh, with this one because it's, um, you know, that you're feeling like there's no hope, no hope it'll succeed and that sort of stuff. But what I, what I really do think, is that you're needing to actually get past that and decide do you really want to bring these ideas together or not and it almost looks like that uh, the knight is actually has actually almost got that doubter on the stick and saying spit it out it's not going to happen i don't want that happening and the knight himself is going to be the one that is um, successful so bring the energy of what the knight is they are fighters, they are warriors, so that that energy of what you're deciding with some of the ideas you've got in mind to do is going to dominate and is going to push out and away that that is the doubter. And you go forward with some of them and test them out, even if some aren't fully successful. Uh, I think there's probably one that is definitely a main idea that you'd like to follow through. Take it for the run, take it, take it, and and run with it you know get it going 
and I think you'll find that it will strengthen and you'll actually do very well with it okay and here's your here's your oh did that switch no here's your challenge Kimberly. So, so either do a little audio and place in your comment to have that reading or uh, a photo of your singing whichever I don't mind which way it, it works so what I'm going to do is put everyone's um, because we have gone over there that, that uh, we have gone over the air what I thought I might finish with is so that those who have been patient and waited and haven't got a card I'm just going to put your name up on the screen and spin the wheel for your challenge and I can do it that way when I've got the time tomorrow and Sunday because it could need to be spread out over the, the weekend that I'll do each of you a reading if you satisfy that challenge and put that under your comment whichever page that you've commented on I do have access to Leanne's page so I can see there even if you've done them there okay so certainly put your challenge result underneath and we'll do and I'll do a reading for you and that is using the curiosity tea card spread so here we go we've got Kimberly's was the last reading that I just did so what we've got now is we are going to do Jasmine's so here's your challenge for your reading and you have so you might need to just take a photo of you walking a do a scene of you walking okay now we've got Bridget I think I did one for you earlier didn't I I'm pretty sure that I had Bridget Gale Young I had so there we go and I think I'm pretty sure I did one for you Emily wasn't it because you were on the top close to the top yeah so um you can put even if i oh gee where was your comment <laughs> oh goodness now i've lost my place because i went scrolling with a whizzy um but that's all right that's all right bridget jasmine i did jasmine's bridget even if i'm just going to keep rolling this spinner and if you have two you can pick one of the challenges it doesn't matter uh heather here's yours you have a week fabulous weekend too that's lovely comment thank you you are going to take a nap so have somebody show you somebody take a photo of you with a nap uh okay and kimberly i've just done yours i know i did that one caroline oh no i know i've done yours too kimberly reagan there we go there's amanda i'm not sure if i did one for you but here we go if i feel that i have you're going to have a choice of two then aren't you cat. wonderful for you amanda <laughs> lovely and I know I haven't done measures. Oh, that's my, my, is that how you pronounce your name? Good evening, how are you? Um, I'll draw this one. Let's do this one. And the idea is to photograph hour and put it under your comment here, the good evening. Respond to yourself or whatever, whatever way, what's it called, reply. Anyway, if I see that you've done that uh, with, your, cha with a, your challenge, I'll do that curiosity tea card spread for you over the weekend okay there we go um now i'm pretty sure that i did yours didn't i keza way up the top there somewhere um yeah i did so i'll go away no i've got a the magic mouse i'm hoping it doesn't cut me off so oof. nanette good evening to you i haven't had you here before so here's your chance a pet a pet take a photo of you patting your pet put under your th response under your comment then you have the opportunity to <laughs> to um have that reading uh curiosity tea card reading and for kim here we go for you i don't think i've done one for you already have i 
there you've got to sing a song. I wonder what you'll choose. <laughs> and good evening, Wendy. Lovely to see you here. And here we go. Your challenge to have your card reading is <gasps> Oh, goody. I'm going to enjoy reading these, but I'm going to enjoy coming back and looking at these tomorrow. Wonderful, Wendy. And Kerry Kittle, you just got a friend request from Leanne, you wouldn't have. No. One of the definite things, and I'll just go back to this screen for the moment, one of the definite things that I know Leanne does not send friend requests. If you have, it's from one of those copycat type sites that are out and spamming. Don't need to respond to Leanne, she probably already knows. But do not accept those friend requests because they will be from spammers, okay? Def oh, I put that on the wrong one. I was meant to do it on this one, sorry. <laughs> Here we go, back to the spinner because we're at Kerry's. Did I do one for you, Kerry? I'll do it again. You can choose them. So there you go. Or you can take a photo of the flower. There you go. There you go. Thank you for that. And Victoria, if you're still here, you may or may not be. And that's where you've got to hang around for some of the fun things that I do, don't you? Here we go, Victoria. If you put this challenge, if you're on YouTube, you know, I don't think you can put photos and things in YouTube chat. So you may need to send that to me as a direct message on my Rosbounty page. So send it to me that way and I can still get a reading to you, okay? And here's Kay. I know I haven't done one for you yet, but I know I've already put that up there because you said the readings are great. And they are, aren't they? They're fun to do. So photo from you as you're going for a walk. That's going to be good and healthy, isn't it? <laughs> so there we go. Now let me go to here. We've got Michaela. Good evening to you, Michaela. Here's yours. This is a bit faster than doing the card readings themselves, isn't it? Oh, Michaela, you're going to have to draw a cat and put it underneath your comment here. That's going to be lovely to see that little picture, that photo. I'm going to enjoy this. So we've got Michaela. Now, I think, Carolyn, I've done yours, didn't I? Um, if you want to have a challenge, you do one like this. You can do the same. You can have that choice of what was before what was now. <laughs> Create a poem. Uh, there you go. And Michaela, you're commenting, ah, yeah, the cards, they work so well. Oh, they really do. And uh, one of the other shows I might, one, like next week I might do it where it's you choose which deck and I just pick a card from one of the decks or whatever. All interesting, isn't it? Ah, so Emily, you saw in that... Um, now, what card was that one? That was the, yeah, I know which one I'm seeing. It was the pregnant woman. Yes, and you could be absolutely right. It could have been a pregnant woman. Thank you for sharing that. Now we've got Marg here. Let's see what charge we're going to actually get you to do if you'd like a reading. Cook a dish. So take a photo of a dish that you've cooked, home cooked dish and put it under your comment here and you can get a curiosity tea card reading over the weekend too i'm going to have to spread these out okie dokie <laughs> the fun and games kerry kittle there we go you're a part and didn't even know it <laughs> i'm good at poetry don't matter if you're good or not just make up a two right two line rhyme and be a poem too I did a poem once at school where it was one word for each line. I don't know how many words I did, but that was my poem. <laughs> so there you go. I gather then, Kerry, you got the writer poem one. And Sarah, oh, lovely to see you here tonight. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Here you go, your challenge. And I'm hoping everyone is still here. Oh, you've got the creator poem. Oh, I love that. Thank you. Thank you. There you go. The challenge accepted accepted or is it accepted <laughs> i'll be finding out when everyone does do their challenges or not i could have a busy weekend doing readings now keza has said thank you didn't she because she was one of the first to come in uh and emily has lots of questions there that might be answered if you look i'll put that up um you get have a choice of the challenges 
I know you've got a challenge to do. Oh, take it. <laughs> That's a good one, isn't it? <laughs> um, and Keza, you're asking, how do you show the photo? Um, depends if you work, if, and I know you are actually, have gone to work. So what you need to do is share it. Actually, I'm not sure with the comments. Can you add photos into the comment area? If you can't, just send it to me via a DM or the direct message, you know, the messenger thingy in, uh, but to my at Ros Boundy page on Facebook. That's that's how I'll need to see it if that's the way that's the only way you can figure out how to do it. Uh, I hadn't tested that factor of whether you can put photos and comments. I don't know. I should have checked that first, shouldn't I? Thank you for making that point there, Keza. Good one. Thank you. Um, Beck, how are you tonight? Here we go for your random actual challenge. I could, should have called it challenge. Pat a pet. Take a photo of patting a pet. And you get a reading too. And we've got Bridget here as well. It's, oh, have you got one already, Bridget? I can't remember. Well, you're going to have a choice. Let's go. Let's go. I can't remember if I've seen that or not. Oh, there you go. And we've then got Juanita. Oh, that's a beautiful avatar, a very gorgeous avatar. Here we go. I'm trying to push through these so that um, those who are us sing a song. Oh, I'd love to hear that voice. Um, oh, that's a something too. In Messenger, you can do, if you're on a mobile phone, you hold the microphone down and you can actually send a voice snippet. I don't know how long. It doesn't have to be a full song either. Um, I have got Nat messaging saying, oh, she's done a cat already. <laughs> so it does work. The messenger does accept the photos very easily. So that might be something that you can do in that way to um, Keza who asked and for anyone else that's wondering how, Sing a song. I know on a mobile device you can send little voice snippets. So sing a song that way and send it to me in the messenger at Ros Boundy, that one. Okay. <laughs> and this is the one. Yes, it's yours that I thought, yes, I had responded at the time. Well done for you to leave a DV relationship. I know it's hard. I've heard from many friends similar situations how hard it's been for them to do that so congratulations so and yes you will get some more guidance around that once you um do your challenge sing a song <laughs> and uh, you can't comment a photo but i will cuddle my dog ah oh, okay yeah that's fine that's fine <laughs> so that was your challenge was cuddle your dog pat a pet or something like that. Thank you for letting me know. I will just make sure that, Emily, I do an extra reading for you, except I haven't got a piece of paper here. Can you send me a message? It, oh, you've sent it there, haven't you? Duh. <laughs> it's okay. I'm sane. I actually am. <laughs> and that, no, it was me. Yeah, I just got that, so that's cool. Um. And, yes, Keza had to leave, so Juanita, yeah. Have a great night, Juanita. I hope you do get your message, so that uh, your challenge, so that you can actually um, do that. <laughs> I'm just trying to read some of these. Oh, cool, send a video to your profile. Oh, right, yeah, that, that'll do too. Oh, there you go. Hey, Shaz, how are you? Here, do this one and I can do your reading too. <laughs> Draw a cat. <laughs> oh, that's going to be a fun one. You've got three models, haven't you? That you can draw a cat around. <laughs> Off with the head, yes. Yeah. Um, I'll have to do your reading card tonight. It'll be over the weekend. I can do it. One of those curiosity tea card spreads. So if you get that cat drawing happening, and if you send it to my messenger, it'd be good. 
<laughs> Steve will need to take a photo of him lying in bed ready for his nap. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, the Phoenix card is a really nice card, isn't it? So Grace, did I do one for you? No, I don't think I've seen that. So here, if you could do your random act and message it to me or put it in the comments and ask me a photo of go for it, going for a walk or just let me know you've gone for a walk or something, um, into my at Ros Boundy messenger because I do check that every day and I can do a reading for you afterwards. <laughs> and here we've got Annette. Ooh, here you go. What random act are you going to have as a challenge to get your curiosity key card ready? Come for a walk too. Wonderful. Take a photo of it and send the photo to me at my at Ros Boundy Messenger. And I've got Liz Marslin. Well, good evening to you, Liz. Here's your random act to have a reading done over the weekend. Gee, there's a lot of exercise going to happen, isn't there? So let me know at Ros Boundy Messenger. That's good. And Alison Turnbull. Hi, and how are you? This is, a, this is a different way of doing it, isn't it? Getting a reading because of the dogs drawing a cat or a dog if you prefer dogs. Draw something. <laughs> That'll be fine. And that's at Ros Boundy in my psych in, in my Ros Boundy page, Messenger. That's where you, that will send you is to at Ros Boundy. So okay, Alison. And now we've got Belinda Amoroso. Belinda, I don't think I've seen you here before. Gorgeous little kitties. <laughs> there we go. Oh, I'll take that out. I probably need. Oh, are they your children or grandchildren? Oh, isn't it gorgeous? So whether you can get a photo of you taking a nap or where you are going to take a nap and say napping here, that type of thing, <laughs> whichever way it is. Oh, I love your little emojis, Alison. They're gorgeous. Oh, look at the fairy. And Michaela, you've got some gorgeous ones there. I'm just looking at that. That's the clover, isn't it? Yes, I love the clovers. How did you get the white clover, though? Haven't seen that one before. Now, Carolyn, you've been so down. You need the fire of the sun. Oh, I'm glad that you had that. And Davina, absolutely. Um, there is so many fake pages now happening. Uh, I have had, I've accepted one recently that was definitely all, already spamming me. So that just gets straight away blocked. But it's, a hassle it's rude it's just all of that sort of thing that you sort of think they're only bringing back their own karmic energy by doing it so anyway here you are thank you for mentioning it that way though but here's your challenge or your random act sing a song sing a song so on your messenger you can send it to me as a little voice message at messenger i'm happy to accept those i think i can um even if we're not friends when it's to a page so try it out anyway so there you go for you carolyn uh davina sorry and carolyn <laughs> you got the blessings there thank you and grace oh, did i yes i did the spin for you already so that's cool and alison panazala i oh what a gorgeous little puppy i haven't done one for you have i this one for you so you do that send it to Atlas Boundy as a if you write a poem and send it there you can have a curiosity tea card reading so I'm looking forward to reading the poems and stuff that I'll be getting and um, Alison you've got those beautiful emojis again I love that Evelina haven't had one from you good evening and here's your random reading and there we go Take a, nap. <laughs> a photo would be fine of where you're going to take the nap so give it a go give it a go um and evelina you've commented you've never seen these cards look it was by reference someone mentioned transparent tarot they knew i liked different decks I, i'm not going to buy every type of deck because that would be a small fortune and i wouldn't be able to store them all um 
but I certainly was intrigued with these and they are an absolutely amazing deck. I haven't used them much in readings yet, um, but I will do <laughs> as more people get to know them and ask for those as a reading. So it is lovely, isn't it? Spot on. Ah, there you go. Spot on. Thank you so much. Yes, got one main idea. Cool. That's really good, isn't it? Um, <laughs> and you knew the one that you were going to get, yeah, isn't it? That's It's cute when you can predict in that way. An RT. Ah, that's a lovely photo. I love the colours. So here's your random pack. I just hope that you are still there. And if you get a photo of Pat it, patting your pet, you can have the free Curiosity tea card reading. Because you're on youtube you may need to actually just send me i don't know how youtube works if that's the only avenue you use if you do facebook messenger at ros boundy will get you my messenger so you can actually send the photo of you patting your pet to get the free reading okay <laughs> oh whenever you can yeah the, the challenge, can it be done in the morning? Certainly. You've got all weekend to send me your response. So it doesn't have to be tonight. It can be tomorrow morning and it can be Sunday. If it's if it's matched to your comment here on tonight's broadcast in those five destinations, I'll honour doing a free reading for each of you with the Curiosity Tea Card reading. But you do need to actually meet that random act or challenge, okay? So there we go. <laughs> I'm wondering if the oh no was because I was frozen. Shaz said I wasn't, so there you go. And Kim, I don't think I did a spin for you yet either. So do this what are we doing there? If you could cook your dish and take a photo of it, that would be lovely. It's going to have me drooling with envy because I don't cook much. There you go. <laughs> what kind of music do I like? I don't mind folk. I don't mind. I like Gregorian chant. Um, any music, whatever you like, you can do the singing. You choose. <laughs> In case I don't let the sister sing, <laughs> walking you can do. <laughs> uh, it depends what the what the wheel chose, isn't it? And uh, what's this one from Michelle? What kind of reading you do, please? You do playing cards. Thank you for taking the time out of you today to do this. Oh, that's a lovely, lovely blessing, really. Um, I do lots of different types of cards. Uh, the Lenham and the Tarot, I can do runes. Well, I have done runes. There, there's so many different tools and just reading with charms, you know, throwing a charm or two or three or whatever there's so many different tools i've got lots and you just you know if that's something that you want and need uh from playing cards i don't normally but the lenaman deck does relate to a playing deck as well what well, tarot can if you decide to do that here yeah. um and kimberly you'll be drinking a lot of tea over the weekend I do tea leaf readings too. I'm still practicing at those, but I'm definitely putting those out there. Oh, did I do one for Michelle? Hang on. There we go. And you can experience a curiosity tea spread. If you cook a dish, take a photo of it. Send it to at Rose Boundy. Uh, Messenger. I was trying to think of what that jolly message system is. It's called Messenger, of course. And anyone new here? I know I did one for Evelina, didn't I? Yes, because I remember seeing that. Oh, now I haven't seen you, Koshnik. Koshnik, is that how you pronounce that? Here we go. And if you take a photo of the flower, and if you can't do it under the comment here, you can send it to my messenger and I'll do a curiosity tea card spread reading for you. So there we go for you, Koshnik, and <laughs> I like that challenge accepted, is it? Thank you. Cool, good. Um, 
and oh Santa Cliff I did on Wednesday at the cemetery when I got in the car a certain song was on the radio I showed Kate oh fantastic yeah sometimes those special moments aren't they and Nat that's how you did it messenger photo yes yeah and I've already received it so how cool is that so you're definitely first on the list then I would say and I'm just gonna nick across someone is message me yep <laughs> Shaz has done the same. She's drawn a cat. Hers looks a little angry, <laughs> but it's quite funny. Thank you, thank you. It's lovely to receive them. Already some joy happening there. Love it. And Terry T, here's your spin. And <laughs> you take a photo of you patting a pet. There you go for that and you can have your reading it would definitely be the only i don't know how you can do it in youtube if you can attach a a photo to a comment in youtube you'll have to tell me how to do it otherwise send it to at ros in the facebook messenger okay <laughs> and kimberly's already saying can't sing to sing can't sing to save my life so this will be fun hey it will be fun everybody has a voice just use it and sing it you don't speak it you sing it and if it sounds like speaking it doesn't matter bring it out as if you are singing your life out and it doesn't matter how it sounds I'm not going to be judging it and I'm not going to be sharing it anywhere okay <laughs> and Kimberly's saying thank you so much for your time Ros hope you have a wonderful weekend I'm going to have a fantastic weekend thank you and <laughs> Here we go. We're at the end of what I've got of my list. So thank you, each and every one of you. Here's my morning family finishing up the evening for me. Thank you, because I think most others have gone by now. It looks like it. So send you the click. Oh, there's messages that you're <laughs> saying to each other. You two, you're just so funny. <laughs> Definitely as painful as your singing. <laughs> oh, sorry, that's funny ah oh, that's ready and Michaela are you ready for my non-drawing it's not much advance from a stick figure oh, I don't care stick figures are the others that have come in doesn't matter they are round circle so it's not a stick figure it's okay just the drawing is it so thank you thank you to you as well Kimberly and <laughs> And Kim's going to K Marsh. I'm going to video you doing the cath walk in the morning. <laughs> it's walking. <laughs> Good night, all from Kimberly. So thank you, each and every one of you, for joining in and having fun with me. Yes, it's only down to 10 watching now, but hey, it's been fun. Thank you. It does take some time to get through these card readings, but it's just time that we are sharing and it's spirit connection and that's what i just love so much about these evenings on a friday night so thank you i was tired last week peanuts has improved absolutely heaps so it's been really good to actually just connect and say hi again it does feel like a long time when you miss out on a week and it's wonderful to see you again too wendy so have missed you it's good to see everybody so i'll be back again in the morning for those who are still here i do have these connect oh now why didn't that show in the stream hey something that oh now that's something that's interesting i'm sharing a link it wouldn't let me do one that's interesting I'm just testing out these links. Now, why didn't the Curiosity Tea Card reading one go through? You don't need to purchase that, by the way. Whoops, um, removing that. <laughs> Something went wrong with it. I got a message that one of them, and that was the Curiosity one. I don't know why. Probably because there is one of those are a private group. No, they're not. They're all public groups, public access. So do not know. Thank you for being here. Thank you thanks for being wonderful wonderful people and sharing your time with me as well because i love it so tomorrow morning at eight o'clock for those who would like to be part of the daily lenin card spread reading it's not the share type like this it is i just do a spread that spirit guides me to lay on the table especially weekends are a little bit different 
and I'll see you then. If not, till next week. And thank you very much. Bye for now. Namaste. Well, thank you, Terry. Love the smile. Yes, YouTube's a bit limited in it. I have figured out how to do the emojis, though. Anyway, bye for now.